Well, howdy, folks. Hey, I got my buddy today, Sonny. Hi, Sonny. We're going to talk about something that we both love to do, and that's go fishing. Yeah, you want to go fishing? You do, don't you? You love fishing. Yeah. Actually, we're not going to talk about going fishing. We're going to talk about something we would use when we go fishing. This is not an original idea. I saw it from a guy named Mike Baker. Uh, look him up, Mike Baker Videos on YouTube. I'll post a link in the description below so that you can get to that real quick. I don't know if this is his idea, but I know it's not mine. I got it from him. And that is the fact here in Missouri, when I go crappie fishing, the majority of the lakes, not all, but the majority of the lakes are based on a 15 crappie limit. Yeah, you throw them in your live well, that's all good, but then you lose track of how many are there, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. So when you're finished fishing for the day, and then you had to get all your fish out, then you doing all this in the live well, trying to catch them even though you empty the water. And it, Anyway, you all know what I'm talking about. So I saw him set one of these up and it's a simple cable stringer with the, with the hooks on it. You can see it here, this is not a necklace, although it might make a nice one. I don't know, what do you think? But when you buy these, they only have 10 clips on them. They don't have 15. So what Mike did was he bought two of them and he made one with 15. So he took five off the other one, obviously. Do your math. So I did the same thing here. So you can see there's one here, two, three, 15. So there are some lakes around here that you can actually get 30 crappie, but 15 of them need to be under nine inches. 15 can be over nine, or you can have 30 under nine because they're trying to get all the little ones out. So even at that, it's still based on 15. So I wanted two for that purpose, but also sometimes I take people fishing with me. So for both crappie fishing, we'll have two of these ready to go for a 15 crappie limit per person. So anyway, I wanted to show you how to make one of these if you're interested. It's really simple. It's not difficult at all. If it was, I wouldn't be able to do it. I wanted to share this because I thought it was pretty cool. And I saw a couple guys use it and I thought, man, I want to find out how to make that. And obviously you can manipulate this number of hooks any way you want. Uh, it just depends on what the typical limit is where you fish. You know how to do math. You can figure that part out. There's 10 on a stringer. So divide it up however you want or use them as is. I know some of you guys like to toss your crappie back into the live well or into the cooler or whatever. Obviously this won't work for you, but if you want a good way to keep count of your fish, this will definitely do it. I fish up front, my live well's in back, so I could also get a D-ring. This com It comes with a key ring on here, a big one. You can get a D-ring and you could snap it on your rail or something on your boat and just hang it over the edge. Have it right there next to you. It's up to you, however you want to do it. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how I did this and then we'll go from there. Now obviously to do this, you're gonna have to buy some stringers. So I just went to Bass Pro and I picked up, I actually picked up three of these because I wanted two. So if you only want one, you just need to get two of them. But as you can see, I already made one. I wanted to fail off camera, not on camera, but I didn't fail. So you can see this comes with one end one end has the fish clip on there. These also come with those little safety things that you can slide up so the doesn't pop off there. I'm gonna take all those off because those are just gonna be in the way. I don't wanna have to worry about sliding, about sliding this little thing down. So you have one end with the clip, obviously you wanna keep that. The other end has a key ring and it has this ferrule on it. So you have to remove that or you can also do like Mike Baker did, and he just cut the cable. You do have, you do have plenty of cable here if you would rather cut the cable. I decided to take it off. I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm actually going to cut the cable. Uh, cutting the cable, you, you have to use like a hacksaw, a Dremel, a bolt cutter, something like that that will cut the cable. I'm actually going to use this Dremel and just cut this cable right here as close as I can to the ferrule because I just think that will be a little bit easier if you cut the ferrule, you got to cut it in a couple different places to get a piece out of there. It's just not as easy. Um, it's not it's not difficult, but it's not as easy. And you can see just how easy that was with a Dremel and cutoff tool. That was much quicker than the other one 
when I cut that ferrule off. Obviously one of the items you're going to need is going to be a new ferrule. You can buy this at the hardware store. This cable is approximately eighth inch. So I got an eighth inch ferrule. So the opening is like that. So really all you do is slide it in. Make the loop however big you want. You can make it smaller than it was. Just come out the end a little bit. Now they actually make a tool to crimp that. I don't have it, but you know what works well? A concrete floor and a hammer. So that's what we're gonna do. And actually, I almost just messed up here. I forgot to put the other hooks on. Very important step. Since I already did one, I already had the other end clipped. So I'm just gonna take these off. And you know what? That's actually not gonna work. Well, yeah, it will. Because, here's, what, here's the issue. That fifth one is here on the end and it's not on one of these barrels. Hmm, what am I gonna do about that? All right, so as you can see, I kind of messed up on this because I only have four with these little ferrules on here to slide down the cable. And I needed the fifth one and it does not have that ferrule. So probably for now, I'm just gonna put it on here. And that will go over that. So it's just, gonna, it's just gonna be on there without one of these. It'll be the last one. I don't know how often I'll catch 15, hopefully often. But you wanna orient these the same way that you would orient, that these are oriented already. So I got the ring at the bottom. So you just wanna make sure the ring right here goes at the bottom and goes on first. Slide that in, There's one, two, three, four. Now keep in mind that if you're doing this for one and you buy two, you won't have the issue I'm having right now with this one. My problem is I bought three thinking I could make two and I wasn't thinking about this last one not having the ferrule on there. But it really doesn't matter. It can just clip on. I'm just going to clip it on there. If it becomes a problem sliding down over that one, I can put a washer on there or something. In fact, I might do that right now. Just find a washer, put on there so it doesn't slide down over the top of that. So I had a couple of these little stainless steel decorative washers and they will not go over that. And this hook will not go over those. So those will just be separated like that. It's pretty much as far as, as the others anyway. So I think we'll be okay. Just keep in mind that it won't happen to you if you're only doing one and you buy two of these. But if you're like me and you wanted two 15 stringers, then you're gonna have to deal with that. So as you can see, just slip that in there like that. And then we're gonna get on the concrete floor and pound that down so it stays. Well, I didn't realize my camera wasn't on or I would have showed you that, but I just laid it on the floor, hit it with a hammer, it's all. But you can see it holds it in there really, really good. So anyway, as you can see, that's pretty easy to do. Now I have two stringers. Yeah, other than my mess up, not thinking about that last one. Uh, it's still gonna be very usable and it holds them apart so they won't get tangled up. Hey, I was just thinking 10 plus 10 is 20. That's what it's always been, so wasn't thinking about the amount of these. So anyway, I've got two 15 fish stringers that I can use. Now all I gotta do is go out and get my limit. So the way Mike uses these, as you may have guessed, is you have all of these all the way down. So anyway, you'll catch your first fish, put it on this end one that's on the loop, put it in your live well and close the lid. Second fish, put it on there, slide it forward, close the lid third fish, so on and so on and so on until you know when you get to the end down here, when that's full, you know you got 15. You don't have to worry about counting them, punching the counter, trying to grab them out of the water and counting them. Uh, you just have it there. So anyway, I thought it looked kind of handy, so I decided to make some. I <laughs> just hope I can fill it up because that's the fun part. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't mind, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I pray that God bless you, and I hope you have a great day.